that's right now that are the glass jars with a hinged lid that has a clip at the bottom. Uh, those are great for dry storage, but don't process in them because right. they won't they won't seal uh, correctly. And just remember that if you have a question, don't hesitate in making sure that you call the extension office at three four nine. 2575 and we can find the answer to your question if if I'm not there someone can uh, refer you to an, a 1-800 number uh, to get those answered along the way uh, for gelling pro processes you need to make sure you don't double the recipe right again just like, like we did with the pickling if you double the recipe you're doubling the chances of the recipe not working out because right. again you've got that boiling water proportion kind of thing mm -hmm. and even though it's bubbling you've got twice as much stuff to get rid of you know the, the liquid has to be at a certain um, uh, vis viscosity right. thickness and if it doesn't have the surface to break it through then it can't happen that way and so again doubling the recipe doesn't work for jams and jellies mm -hmm. and then um, don't you don't try to do a regular jam or jelly and put artificial sweetener in it mm -hmm. because it won't Again, the pectin balance with the fruit mm -hmm. plus the sweetener has to be different when you're using right. an artificial sweetener or even like stevia. Yeah. You can't substitute equal amounts and have it come out right. right. You need so, a specific recipe. Right. You need a specific sweetener. recipe for that particular sweetener so that you'll have a successful project. Right. So enjoy your peanut butter and jelly and have yeah. jellies in all sorts of different flavors. Yeah. And and, and have a great time. We thank you for your attention on this, and hopefully, hopefully you will try your hand at jams and jellies and try some of those new combinations and have fun with it all. Again, thank you, and we will see you again another time.